Some sweet wine for a sweet swine. <laughs> Come join me! Thank God wanders somewhere up here, does he not? I haven't seen him. They like to say he moves with mystery. Look! The moon! It moves on trouble now. But one day it will be eaten by a giant wolf and the nights will be black forevermore. Are you all right? I've tasted glory once again. And it was good. I'm glad to hear it. Now... I always felt like Skull or Hati. Chasing and trying to fulfill Halfdan's wishes. But now I've caught my sun and moon. I've got them and I... I don't know. You can let them go. Sail to a further shore. My longship's in Valhalla. Oh, don't you remember? Fire starter. <gasps> Come on, let's get you to solid ground. Everything's spinny. You're very strong. You're very large. For this, Eivor, I've had one last glory. I should be happy. I am happy. Thank you. It need not be the last. Not the last. <laughs> mm. Enough fun and games. I should see how Oswald is doing. Eivor, I'm about to address our guests, and I'd like you to be there. It's been a worthy ceremony so far. And have you had enough fun yet? I'm ready to hear you address your kingdom. Good. Come, come. Join me. Friends, honored guests. We've pushed through hard times. It seems like all we've known is loss and suffering. But it is not conflict that binds us. It is compassion. May we always favor compassion, even when our enemies refuse its boon. So, to my Dane friends and neighbors, I give thanks for the bravery you have shown during our collective struggles. And for my fellow Christians, may we continue standing as examples of our Lord's grace. Lights in the dark. I see East Anglia's future right here, right now, in all of you, Dane and Saxon alike. To our future. Still a bit soft on insults, but the king has courage. And to Eivor, without whom none of this would have been possible. On behalf of East Anglia, let this ring be proof of our loyalty to the Raven Clan and all they have done for us today. Would you have any words of wisdom for us? Oswald, you would not have been my first choice as king, nor my second. I thought you weak, bendable, without resolve. But not all men are as they first appear. I came to see that Oswald's heart is amongst the larches I've ever known. He is sturdy, he has wisdom, and he has courage. All qualities of a man worthy to be king. He is the king East Anglia deserves. And the king you need. To the good King Oswald! To Oswald! Skull! 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 Okay, everyone, the bridal race starts now. Remember, you all have to lose to the bride and groom. Steady all, and ready yourself for the wedding race. The king and his bride against all! My king! He. 
The sheep you left to guard me have been shorn. Oswald! King of sheep fuckers! Show your eyes! I challenge you. I accept. No square. Only sweat and blood. He may be wounded, but don't let your guard down. Let's settle this. I will bury you, Saxon. I'll take all that is yours. Should a king show mercy to one so malevolent, so cruel? I'll not give you the satisfaction of a good death, for my god forbids such cruelty. Therefore, you are outcast. From this moment on, you have won. My life is yours. Your life is God's. <laughs> now go. Leave my kingdom and never return. I do not understand this Saxon religion. Oswald is a coin. One side mercy, the other courage. There are few like him, I'll admit. Saxon or Dane. Such a strange display. Courage and restraint like I've never seen. With all that's happened, with all the chaos ruined wrought, still Oswald found reason to spare him. It's a strange thing. Remarkable thing. From what inner spring does such kindness run? I'd like to know. With my duty here fulfilled, I now choose East Anglia. I fight for you, my king. Prize, old friend. You're embarrassing me. Be well, Finir. Your choice is a bold one. You continue to surprise Oswald of Ilmenham. Thank you, Eivor. When we first met, I made an oath. I promised you an alliance. You did. You'll have it. So long as I draw breath. Until next time, King.